Hi everybody, this is John with Homeroom Studios at homeroomstudios.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a neat little trick that I stumbled upon in Pro Tools. Um, I'm going to be using Pro Tools 9 for this tutorial. Uh, it also works with Pro Tools 8, I know that. I'm not sure about Pro Tools 7 on all the versions of 7, but because uh, I don't have those installed on my computers anymore. But I uh, highly recommend that you practice these keyboard shortcuts in a blank session like I'm doing. Just add a bunch of tracks, add some aug sends, and practice these shortcuts and get familiar with them. Also write them down as I tell them to you and they'll appear on the screen as well. So I'm going to be showing you on a Mac. I do know a couple of them on Windows but I don't know all of them, so that's why I recommend that you use a blank session because a couple of the keyboard shortcuts, if you uh, if you uh, change up one key, it could mess up your session big time, and that would not be good if you're using these shortcuts for the first time in a major session. So always save often. The first shortcut I'm going to be showing you is how to select a bunch of tracks and then send all those tracks to you know select. Um, a single output for all those tracks without having to go into each one separately. So, I've kind of set up a scenario here. We have let's see the let's say these blue tracks here are our drum tracks, and then we have this drum bus that we want to send all these tracks to. We've set up our output, our input, sorry, for the bus as bus one and two. Now we need to select our outputs. We need to set our outputs here to bus one and two. Normally, you'd go in and you select bus one and two, and you do that for each track. But if you have like 12 drum tracks or even more, if you're doing like a bunch of vocal tracks and you're putting them all to one vocal bus, I don't know why you would, but if you are, that is going to be a hassle for you. So what you can do is you can select all the tracks by holding down shift, select all those tracks, select the range of tracks you want. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold down, let me see, let me get all these in the window. Okay, you're going to hold down Shift and Alt, or Option. I don't know what this is in Windows. It's probably Alt in Windows, but again, test it on a blank, blank session. So Shift and Alt, and this, and then what you do is you click on any one of these, and you select your output to bus 1 and 2, and what's going to happen is boom. All those tracks that were selected changed to bus one and two. So now you've routed all your drum tracks to the drum bus with just with just two clicks, which is great. Um, the reason I say do this in a blank session and to really write these down and be careful what you're doing because if you just were to press Alt and not press Shift, this is what happens. Notice that. It changed it for all the tracks. That's bad. If you're in the middle of a complex mix and you have all this complex routing going on and all of a sudden you do that, you don't hold down shift and you hold down alt, it'll change all your tracks to that output that you've selected. And what's really bad is that if you hold down just alt without shift and you select just a mono bus, it gets rid of all your panning. Look at that. It's all gone. Your mix is completely hosed. It's completely scrapped. You can't use this anymore. So that's why I say save often and really practice these keyboard shortcuts because it's just one key off. So make sure you hold down Shift and Alt. Okay, that's how you just change what's selected. Holding down just Alt will change all your tracks. Now you may want to zero out your zero out your mix and re and set everything back to analog one and two if you want. In that case, holding down Alt and doing that will set everything back but all your pans have been reset. So, be very cautious with that. The next little shortcut I'm going to show you is how to take a track and um, select multiple outputs. So we have our first track here, Audio 1, and it's going to Analog 1 and 2, the main, the main master fader. But say we want to also send it to bus 1 and 2, the same exact track. We want to send it to bus 1 and 2, you know, for, for any reason. Uh, reasons will come up as you're mixing. You hold down Control, which is Windows, the Windows key. 
in uh, on a on a PC. So some people think you know control is control, but for some reason with this keyboard shortcut, it's control on a Mac, the Windows key on a PC. So you're gonna hold down control or the Windows key, select your uh, output or input, and then you're gonna choose where else you want to send it. So we also want to send it to bus one and two. And when you do this, you'll see a little plus shows up. That plus is showing you that you have more than one output or more than one path selected. You can choose as many as you want. I can just keep stacking on mono buses. I can keep stacking on stereos, monos, actual physical outputs. And if you hold, if you just let your cursor sit here, you, it shows you a nice drop down of all the paths. So I'm sending that one signal to all those locations and what's great is since it's in the computer it, you don't lose any quality of signal so it's splitting it and that saves your sends allows you to do that and again you can do that you know for all the you can do that for all these tracks you just hold down control and you keep selecting and it, and it just that plus shows up now if you want to get rid of that if you want to take off just a couple of these you got to hold down control go in and just uncheck and, it, and what it does is it unchecks them see if you want to go back to just one path don't hold down anything and then just select what path you want and boom it'll get rid of all of them but that one so you, so you erase that so that's a good way to kind of undo what you did um, again if you now with this shortcut there's no way to really screw up your mix Okay, this won't erase your panning. You know, this there's no there's no do it. So really, just focus on keeping track of which keys you're hitting for that first shortcut that I showed you, the one with the um, routing all the outputs to one location. Okay, make sure it's Alt and Shift, and it'll change all those. Um, also, all these shortcuts that I just showed you, they do work on the AUG sends as well. So you can use it to select more than one output for your AUG sends and to route um, a bunch of AUG sends. And hopefully it'll come in handy for you. Again, practice these in a blank session like I'm doing. Practice all the different keyboard shortcuts. If you're using a PC, definitely practice to figure out what keys do which and then write those down so you'll have them for reference because uh, nothing's worse than when you are been working on a mix for hours and you forgot to save and you accidentally press the wrong keyboard shortcut and screw everything up and you forgot to save so now you have to go back and redo a lot of work so really save often and practice these keyboard shortcuts and you'll be fine so that's it I'm John Homeroom Studios is my uh, my recording studio again check out the website check out the blog it's homeroomrecording.blogspot.com. I uh, just write about product reviews, bands, sessions I'm working on, um, anything industry related that I find interesting, I will talk about. So check that out and keep coming back for more tutorials. I'll be doing more as I come up with more little, little tips and tricks to share. Thanks.